welcome back. Now in this chapter, just want to show you a simple example on how you can deploy a function app via a Terraform configuration file. So the function app service allows you to host code on the Azure platform. And here you don't need to manage the underlying infrastructure. It's a serverless service that is available on the Azure platform. So just to give you an example first on how do you deploy a function app, and then we can go on to the Terraform configuration file and see how to do it from there. Here in all resources, I'll hit on create. I'm going to choose the function app service. I'll hit on create. Here I'll just create a new resource group. I'll scroll down. Now I need to give a unique function app name. This will be appended with dot azure websites.net. In terms of the publish, we can choose the runtime stack. So depending upon the runtime stack that you choose, you can create functions based on that runtime stack. I'll choose .NET. Yeah, we can choose version six. We're not going to code anything. Just want to show you the deployment of the function app. We can then choose our location. Go on next for the hosting. Now the function app does need a storage account in place. So this wizard will actually create the storage account for you. Then in the verse, I can choose Windows. In the plan type, there are many plan types in place. You have the consumption. So this is based on how much you use when it comes on to the function app. So you only get billed based on the runtime of the function app itself. We are actually going to create a function app based on an app service plan. Normally, if you have Azure Web Apps deployed, remember they need to be part of an app service plan. So if you already have a web app in place and you have an app service plan in place, you can actually reuse that same app service plan for hosting your function apps as well. Yeah, it will create the plan for you. You can change the size if you want to. At the moment, I'll just leave it as it is. Go on to networking. Yeah, I won't enable anything. Go on to monitoring. So at the moment, I won't deploy application insights. Go on to next, go on to review and create. And then you can go ahead and create the function app. This will just take a few minutes. Let's come back once this is complete. Once the deployment is complete, I can go on to the resource. And here you can start creating a function. So you can go on to functions. Here you can then create a function within the function app. And there are many triggers in place, but we're not going to go through this. Our main aim is to just create the function app via a Terraform configuration file. So I'll go on to my resource groups. Let me delete this resource group. And let's go ahead and perform the same implementation via Terraform. Now, the main resource we are going to be using is the Azure RM function app. I can scroll down. So here, there is also the resource for creating the storage account. This is important. Remember that the Azure Function App does require the storage account to be in place. Here, it is also creating the app service plan. So we can reuse the same code for even creating the app service plan. And then we have a function app. So actually pretty simple. Let me take all of this. So we'll create the storage account, the app service plan, and the function app. Here, I'll just paste in the code. So first, let me give a name for my storage account. So I'll give the name here. Let me give the name of my resource group. The location as well. I can leave the account here standard. I can leave the replication type as it is. Now scroll down, we need to give a name for our app service plan. So just give a name for the resource and give a name for the plan as well. Just make the changes here. Again, the location 
and the resource group name and we can leave this queue as it is standard s1 and then finally we just have our function app so here i'll just give a name for the function app and we need to give the details of our resource group then is the app service plan id so this is our app service plan i'll copy this put it here next is our storage account details so it's the name and access key so the access key helps in terms of authorizing the azure function to access the storage account so let me take this resource name i'll scroll down place it here and place it here so let's ensure to put the correct resource for the storage account now if you want to mention other aspects for example the os type so if you specifically want to mention the underlying os type as linux you can use this so by default it will be windows so if you need to keep it as windows we can leave it as it is if you want to mention what is the .NET framework version that you want, you can actually mention this as under site config. So if I scroll down, if you go to site config, there is something known as the .NET framework version. So we can be specific. We can choose site config. And here I can put .NET framework version is equal to version 6. Let's save this. Let's go on to the terminal. Let's create a plan. Let me apply the plan. And let's come back once this is complete. Once the deployment is complete, if we go on to Azure, we can see our function app in place. Here, if I go on to functions, here, if I just hit on create, I can just choose an HTTP trigger. I can hit on create, and then it will create a function. It will then take you onto the function page. If you go on to code and test, you will actually get a default template snippet when it comes onto the function itself. And this is basically using .NET. So in this chapter, just kind of want to go through how you can deploy a function app via the use of a Terraform configuration file.